applying the principles, and there are 12 of them, of attitudinal healing were key components to my own survival with dealing with a terminal diagnosis, okay? And caring for myself and caring for others around me. Now, attitudinal healing, I'm going to tell you what it is. It's a practical application of A Course in Miracles, which was actually founded by Dr. Gerald Jampolsky as a way to provide free spiritual support to people facing a variety of things, illness, catastrophic events, any type of loss, and a variety, a wide variety of life challenges. The first one is the essence of our being is love. Number two, health is inner peace. Healing is letting go of fear. Number three, giving and receiving are the same. Number four, we can let go of the past and the future. We can let go of it now. Number five, now is the only time there is in each instant is for giving. Six, we can learn to love ourselves and others by forgiving rather than judging. Seven, we can become love finders rather than fault finders. Number eight, we can choose and direct ourselves to be peaceful inside regardless of what is happening on the outside. Number nine, we are students and teachers to each other. Number 10, we can focus on the whole of life rather than just the fragments. 11, since love is eternal, death need not be viewed as fearful. And number 12, we can always perceive ourselves as either loving or fearful and giving a call for help, for love. Now, while each of them is useful for shifting caregivers' attitudes, let's focus on six of them. So, in the list uh, of 1 through 12, the first one that we learned is the essence of our being is love. Caregivers can sink into a variety of emotions, doubt, anger, resentment, and just it's just flat out fear. Okay, these temporary states mask the awareness of love's presence. Now, when we're going through these emotions, they don't seem like temporary states. Okay, they seem quite permanent, but the reality is that they're temporary. Okay, and that's another way of also helping you navigate through these feelings is that they're actually just temporary. Knowing ourselves and others as love helps shift our perspective okay, and shift away from negative attitudes, okay, we need self-care based on self-love, makes sense, right, to be the best caregivers that we can be, okay, now on the list, we had number four, which was we can let go of the past and the future, what do I mean by that, resentments based on the past, but are experienced in the present, so we, let me let me go back. We can let go of the past and the future. So that means resentments are based on the past, but we are experiencing them in the present, okay? Worry, fear, and doubt seem to be about the future, but are experienced in the present. We let them all go in the present, okay? Increasing our awareness of our love essence, if you will. Now, on the list was number six. We can learn to love ourselves and others by forgiving rather than judging. As caregivers, it is easy to judge others and ourselves. Caregiving is more peaceful when we love ourselves and others by forgiving and offering grace Okay, emphasis on grace, very important, in place of judgment and condemnation. Um, in this list, number seven was, we can become love finders rather than fault finders. Very important. As
as well. Fault finding gets in the way of inner peace. Judging, comparing, contrasting, evaluating, categorizing seem natural, okay? Since the core of our being is love, we've established that in number one, we can use those skills better to be love and solution finders rather than falling back into fault finding, okay? It's a disservice. It's not a way of love and inner peace. Number eight in the list we're going to look at was number eight. We can choose and direct ourselves to be peaceful inside regardless of what is happening outside now some people may be saying how are you going to do that L- let's find out the events and demands of caregiving seem to be the cause of a whole range of negative non-productive feelings and thoughts while there is a correlation between events and demands and how we respond or react they do not actually cause our reaction now each of us has absolute authority over our own minds we live from the inside out if you will our responses and reactions are caused by our beliefs our thoughts and feelings about events and demands therefore let's think about this we can choose and direct ourselves to be peaceful inside regardless regardless of what is happening on the outside of us okay and in that list of 12 we're going to look at lastly at number 10 we can focus on the whole of life rather than just the fragments what do i mean by that As we care for others, our lives are full of details, to-dos and have-tos, if you will. When we focus on these fragments, these are fragments, okay, we lose sight of the whole of life. We, We miss the whole picture, the big picture, as they say. Focusing on the whole of life frees us from details, so we experience this bigger picture. There may be an attitudinal healing support group or center near you, okay? And I'm going to give reference to Dr. Susan Trout's book, To See Differently, which is a wonderful resource for learning and applying what I've been talking about here of the attitudinal healing for caregivers and those dealing with illness. Now, if you guys want to know more about this, read more about attitudinal A-T-T-I-T-U-D-I-N-L, a healing at A-H-I international.org, A-H-I international.org. Heavenly Father, thank you that you have revealed your love to us today. We invite you to send us out from here in the power of the Holy Spirit. Fan into flame the gifts that you have given us and come reveal your grace and truth to us each day. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. just listening to Teachable Moments with April podcast. I truly hope you enjoyed this episode. We invite you to stay connected with us on our other social media platforms such as TikTok, Pinterest, Instagram, Threads, and YouTube. Also, check us out on our official podcast landing page on podpage.com slash teachable moments with April to see all our content in one place. You can leave messages and give feedback and more. Thank you.